UT hosted the UIL State Track and Field Meet this weekend. In the same meet 38 years ago, future Longhorn and Olympic gold medalist Johnny Lamb Jones pulled off a feat known by many, but seen by few. So we went to Lampasas to track down this tall Texas tale. Sunday's Spotlight is brought to you by Buffalo Wild Wings. Frame by frame, a projector tells a story. But as we learned in Lampasas, the tale of the tape is sometimes about more than just a flickering film strip. Seeing something like that again, I think is once in a lifetime deal. Without a doubt, the most exciting race I've ever seen. At the 1976 UIL state track meet, Lampasas High could win its first state title with a victory in the mile relay. But when Johnny Jones took the baton on the anchor leg, his Badgers were buried in seventh place. 30 to 40 yards behind the leader. It felt overwhelming and I actually felt like I wanted to cry or something before I got the, the baton. But what happened in those next 440 yards not only made Johnny Lamb Jones a state champ, it turned him into a Texas legend. It took off like nothing I've ever seen before. The announcer says, and here comes Johnny Jones. Jones caught and passed every runner in front of him to win the race and the state championship. It would have been a miracle to win, but miracles do happen. Ernest Goodwin, owner of the Trading Post in downtown Lampasas, was at the 76 state meet. So was Trent Lancaster. His brother ran on the relay. But unlike the way antiques and collectibles in Goodwin's store take you back in time, would you like a sack? There was not a way to relive that final lap, not even for Jones himself. The race itself became like a fish story because we didn't have a film of it. But thanks to Austin native Dave Kerr, this fish story is not about the one that got away. I mean, my dad videoed everything. Why didn't everybody else? A track aficionado, Dave's father filmed the final leg of that 76 mile relay. It's believed to be the only video evidence in existence of Lamb's incredible comeback. Just three and a half years ago, a mutual friend set up a meeting between Kerr and Jones. My dad, it was his dream to one day be able to give that tape to him. And when Johnny finally saw the film of his miracle run, his dreams also came true. I immediately got on the phone and called my son. Because he had been hearing about the story his whole life. The fame Jones garnered from that last lap in 76 reached far past the small town of Lampasas. Now nearly 40 years later and with the film to prove it, Lamb wants to pass the baton and help others get a leg up from his miraculous anchor leg. That's what we're going to use the video for is to raise money. We're going to be able to, to help a lot of families battling childhood cancer. Whether it's those who were not alive or fans who saw it live, once more folk tale than feet, Lamb's last lap is now real thanks to this 38-year-old reel. <laughs>